Hello and welcome back to more 1.4 walkthrough. I'm just outside of the uh, bat cave here. You can see the beacon is giving me jump boost and regeneration still. So that's good. Um, so right now I'm just going to be doing a quick little thing. You may be able to tell, you can actually hear the sounds now. I've incorporated two different systems which allows me to have Minecraft sounds as well as me speaking into it. So, speaking of sounds, there have been a lot of new sounds added to Minecraft. I'll be quiet now, and you listen. So that's what it sounds like to uh, walk on sand. You can also placing sand. Just a little different. And walking on grass. stone placing stone soul sand wood So um, that's all that I can remember at this given moment. Um, ladders as well have been changed. Uh, just place some. I'm going up them. And also swimming around. So that's all them that I could remember. If you have some more that you can that you can think of, just be feel free to post them. But other than those, I've got, for example, spiders make a slightly different sound now. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's to do with them walking around. You hear that sound? And then skeletons. They're a little more rattly. If you can hear that. Okay, so those are some of the new sounds added to Minecraft 1.4. Hope you enjoyed this, and please comment if you like this new system better, where you can actually hear what's going on as well. Or comment if you don't, the other one works. Um, but yeah, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hello, and welcome back to more One Point for Walkthrough. And, well, before I get started uh, in the previous part of this recording, I'm sure somebody mentioned that I forgot to do the, uh, Flint and steel. Here it is. And also, there's snow. I I'd forgotten. I'd forgotten to do that. Here. Uh... Okay. So those are the new sounds. There you go. And now we come to the world's worst. Um, yeah, I don't have a comment. Uh, anyway, there's a new tool thing, which is crafting table-ish thing added to Minecraft. I don't know the proper term for it. Called the anvil. Okay, so just imagine this is a good blacksmith. So 
this is what done. So this is natural. I'll sh I'll just go. Okay, actually, let me show you what animals do. So as you can see here, it says repair and name. Actually, I'll show you how to craft animals first. Sorry, this is, I didn't really organize this too well. This one video here. Materials. So let's imagine, let's say you were going and you were using your amazing sword here, which surprisingly I got in the first try. I've never gotten something this good. Looting 2, Smite 4, Fire Aspect 2, Knockback 2, that is an amazing sword. Okay, so let's imagine, I didn't have patience to do it, let's imagine it was breaking and you want to fix it. So you put it in here. Now you can do, put a diamond in here and it will fix your and it'll fix it for you. Now that's not amazing, but if you put this in here, okay, put this in here, then you get a short, sort of sharpness one in here, and this amazing one here, you get one with sharpness one as well as some of the enchantments took away smite, so that's definitely not something you want to do. So I'll keep this one here. So yeah, that's what this does. You can repair tools, and it costs enchantment levels. I know naming. Now this is, um, this is what Lockman was doing. He was calling his Swift Wolf the Avenger. You may have caught on to that. You put that in there. You get Swift Wolf the Avenger. With enchant oh, oh, okay, I was kind of hoping it would keep it. Right, uh, let's just see. There, Swift Wolf the Avenger. And you take this, makes that sound. Get a sword called Swift Wolf the Avenger, and it's completely fixed and all that. Now there are some well, actually here, uh, anvils. They will break eventually. Um, they have different states when they're breaking. States can be grabbed here, very damaged, slightly damaged, and then just anvil. Um, they can be used multiple many times though, because that one didn't break. It didn't even start breaking yet. And as I said before, we're going to need the creeper spawning. Because there is a classical use for anvils that I'm sure many of you are aware of. That's dropping them on things. So what I have here is an anvil perched up there precariously on a piston. And a creeper trapped in this cage. So now what I do here. Hold lever. The anvil falls and squishes the creeper. This damages the anvil as you can see there. Unless I let's just see, um, it does more damage the further distance it falls. All that. So let's just see if my theory is correct here. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Well, yes, that is a new helpful tip item thing. I I don't. I can't give a good for these, but whatever. This the anvil. Okay, hope you enjoy, and we're nearing the end of this uh, snapshot. So, when 
uh, stay tuned. The next video might be the next, the last video. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello and welcome back. I um. Okay, well, I might as well get started. There's this uh, new thing added into Minecraft called this command block. It is unobtainable even through creative. You have to use T slash give Troy 137 and then the amount you want. So now let's do one. And I got one, I got him. Should be okay, I did get one, but you get the point. I let's just throw these over. And do that again. There, now I've got one. Okay, you know what these can do? It allows um oh. it allows server commands to be done by through by acts and being activated by redstone. So here we are in the uh, Gotham City Weather Control Station where I have toggle downfall done. Um, I was gonna have a whole bunch of them and then be teleported somewhere else, but I couldn't figure it out. I'll have some scrolling thing going up here that will explain to you, like, well, I'll have a list of all the different commands you can do. As of now, I flipped the switch. Downfall should have been toggled. Unless I messed something up. It doesn't look like downfall is toggled. It was working a second ago. Toggle downfall. On? There. It's a dark downfall. Redstone. Okay, have some circuitry going on here. You know, some people who know my circuitry are probably going, like, oh no! What I do find annoying is you can't hit escape or E. Um, and I found myself many times just pressing e. Trying to get out of the command block menu. Okay, so now what this can do, uh, I should probably put a button here instead. See the bottom chat bar there, and the top down the 
little too fast. But if you're on a server, you just want to troll a bunch of people. This is perfect, I guess. Well, it'll be changing. See, now a thunderstorm just started, but it stopped. Oh, <laughs> the lightning still managed to strike. Let's check out the devastation from this. Okay, well, that's all, I guess, for 1.4 walkthrough. I know we, it kind of diminished the last video, but, oh, what do I expect to do the video on this, but I couldn't understand them. So, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more of our videos. And next update, be prepared for another uh, Minecraft update walkthrough. Goodbye.